Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at Ground Zero open source project ROMs, which are the valid as uh, TIPC and GZSP, of course. Uh, yeah, in this video, I'm going to review all of them and uh, uh, full review I will be giving of validus and all uh, the three ROMs are same just different different customization you know like here minimum here maximum so I'm going to show you all of this so yeah let's start with the review so guys in all of the three ROMs I liked validus a lot so I'm going to like use it as my daily driver like from today morning I installed it and yeah a little bit battery also like from 40% to 15 I have used so that's good much for a review uh, I know it's like just one day and not one day also but yeah that's enough and okay to show you review and battery use because these are three ROMs if I go taking three all of them that that will take just like two three days for a single ROM review so yeah here it is uh, starting with the launcher we get this AOSP launcher really old launcher but we have this new settings here you can see a lot of settings are present so you can tweak the launcher however you want and yeah it was like a very it was looking like really old launcher with that old search panel so yeah i just removed that search bar so as this rom is based on the zsp and a lot of apps are here you can see google camera has been pre-built and is working really well so yeah i appreciate the work of developer we also have this zsp page where you can uh, this is just app this is we can take a look at the google apps like you can just download and all of the devices supported devices announcements on official roms everything here then all of the apps are present also we have google chrome then these are just the apps inbox pubg youtube and this youtube studio which i've downloaded also we have phonograph as the default music the rom has a different boot animation than czsp like it's valid as so it has its own Validus OS boot animation. That's really great. Now let's take a look at the customizations. Going to settings, here we can see Wolf's Den, and here we see all of the customization present in this uh, like ROM. We have the system lock screen, status bar, navigation, smart tasking. So yeah, it's like minimal, but still a lot of it's present in here. Then these are the animation stuff, app ops, the lights notifications power menu themes you can choose torch the screen of torch thing various uh, other stuff we also have the lock screen lock screen shortcuts various status bar you can configure the status bar items and in various other stuff we get this double tap to sleep and all stuff navigation bar you can like you have the nav guard also we have the edge gestures uh, so yeah they are same like the one present here so hold we get this let's uh, enable our normal nav bar then we have this multitasking uh, yeah you can configure it afterwards so yeah a lot of op options are available taking a look at the battery life i've got like uh, you can see two or six minutes of screen on time from 40 percent and this is the graph six hours ago and as you can see, I have been playing uh, PUBG, uh, watching YouTube videos. Uh, I can say Play Store, YouTube, PUBG, 23. Uh, like, I uh, played just two matches and you know what, like only 22 minutes. That means that was like a noob match. So yeah, and then YouTube, Play Store. So yeah, normal stuff doing here and there, watching YouTube, going to the uh, YouTube studio for comments and also yeah normal stuff only it but yeah a good battery life i got here two hours and also idle train was not that much like like was zero to little so yeah I like, like really appreciate this rom really great rom i've used this rom on other devices too like czsp is a really great base for all of the roms like the one present in here the three roms the validus satipsy uh, and it's a recipe so uh, that's it for the review of the validus os uh, for our uh, redmi 5 plus or redmi note 5 now i will show you just that other two roms so yeah let's go towards the tipsy so guys the next rom from gzosp is tipsy now tipsy os has this uh, uh, yellow and blackish ui and let's go into system about phone here you can see belgian greetings from gz ah, ground zero roms and it was an 8.1.0 and all of this gzr roms have august 2nd i don't know why september not 
like they haven't merged so they started working on pi maybe and they like have no time to merge it so yeah maybe this is the uh, thing they have been doing with the tipsy and other also rom but it has nova launcher and yeah this tipsy wallpaper now let's take a look at the customization here we have this Tevin what is it Tevin oh I don't know so this all the like only this much of customization is available so yeah very much minimal LED lights network traffic power menu quick settings smart pixels uh, not for us it's only for the uh, like AMOLED devices also it was tipsy logo like this PR mug then we have this no power menu when locked so yeah you can enable or disable it so yeah this much for the customization and also let's take a look at the uh, sorry also let's take a look at the uh, boot animation so uh, this is the boot animation for tipsy os so yeah it's just the ml logo yeah and this is the boot animation which just came and yeah this is the tipsy os i show you the customizations and all bench is goodness from gzr now let's move to gzosp which is the like ground zero main rom so guys uh, this is the gzr the ground zero rom like ground zero open source project rom this is the boot animation and it's just booting so yeah let it boot and show you what customizations and how it is so yeah it booted good so guys uh, this is the default launcher of the gzosp rom and you can see get the same settings as validus so yeah same all validus based on gzsp so yeah it's just some customizations over gzsp like you can see gzsp is too much cleaner and like like a lot better but in my opinion you can see that must be at least some sort of customization we have here the system ui tuner where we get this navigation bar add on the lock screen and ambient display it also has the always on display and yeah it works really good okay let me adjust the brightness oh, good then we also have the status bar and this normal system icon so as the rom doesn't have any customization it's too much clean and actually the camera is getting stopped i don't know why but maybe some due to some of the conflicts so maybe you can install any of the other cam like footage camera so it will work then into about section let's go to system about phone you can see this is a SP logo and 8.1.0 Oreo. Yeah, all are based on Oreo only. And then we have August 5 security patch, dark edges, uh, second kernel. So, yeah, all things are good here. Only the camera is not working. So, you can install footage cam like after installing Google Play Store, of course. So, yep, uh, that's it for the video review of all of the three ROMs GZSP based, valid as Tipsy and GZSP itself. And yeah, I hope you guys uh, really liked it and if you really liked it, press the like button. If not, press the dislike button. Feedback and all other queries in the comment section and subscribe for more videos. Here's the red button and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Uh, yeah, it's for the Redmi Note 5 or the Redmi 5 Plus. Bye bye. Oops. Oh.